it's over. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You know what's funny? He wanted me to protect him and not go live and say that it was him. I'm not gonna talk about anything about our private relationship, but why the fuck can you well like you know when you can't talk? Why why would I protect you when you've done nothing but like fucking kill me? Oh my god. He fucking cheated on me. He admitted it today. He was talking to Whoa, whoa, hold on. Just two days ago, you're saying it, it's a fantasy and it's not real and yada, yada, yada. All the bullshit you've talked it up into in the last two months. This was the first instinct, though. He cheated on me. In a sexual way with K Bella. Fucking K Bella, you're a trashy whore. I hope you know that. And what you did will come back to you a thousand. Kybella, you're a fucking legend still for that move, and I'll stand by that forever. Never find a love. You'll never find a man. Yeah, what the fuck? Thank you so much. Oh, he just messaged me that. Good. You deserve it. You deserve everything. You deserve more than that. Oh, he's mad that I'm outing him. I'm never, ever, ever, and fuck men. I'm done. I'm done. I'm never, ever. Oh, Kuwait arc is over. <laughs> Quit arc is over. Oh my god, it's just so stupid. And he's messaging her. Oh my god. <laughs> this could have gone somewhere so funny. This was funny, but I mean it, it was only funny for like a day. Oh god. Oh why, why didn't this drag on like during crack at Olympics? We could have had content out of this shit for like a I don't know, a month. Fuck. So Liz, thank you for the super chat, inshallah. You never know. Hey. Uh, Ms. Byrne, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I don't even believe in God right now. Why am I wearing a fucking hijab? I don't believe in it. Oh, oh, you see, she was two seconds away from ripping that thing right off of her fucking head, swinging it around and chucking it out the Kia window. Why am I even uh, wearing this thing right now? I don't even believe in God. So it's not really between her and God. It was always cosplay for salad. The second it's over with salad, that hijab is coming off. I have said that forever. Stand by that. Look, look, it was almost over and it almost was thrown off. Not anything anymore. And he says he doesn't, he didn't cheat. Sorry, babe. It was just, I have to tell you, I hate myself right now. I can't believe it. Please don't tell. I, it was only this once. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck you. Fuck you. See this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. No, no. I need to hear that again. That's one of the best moments of this whole thing. We're only two minutes in and this thing is already... Mwah. When she went with her fat, crooked finger, fuck you. Shove it up your hairy ass. <laughs> this is so great. That's your husband. Mm. I have to tell you, I hate myself right now. I can't believe it. Please don't tell. I, it was only this once. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck you. Fuck you. See this finger? Shove it up your fucking hairy ass. <sighs> like, what the fuck? A beezer pays attention to you and you do that? You're disgusting. Don't fucking call me. Don't fucking Don't you fucking call me. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> from Glit. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Luna, thank you for the super chat. Listen, we're all jerks. I'm living for this. Call me. Don't ever talk to me. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's over. Like, who the fuck does that? Who, number one, goes to somebody who's married and tries to taunt them and apparently, oh, oh, his. Oh, shut up. That's number 
one, number one, number one should be what kind of a married hairy ass incel motherfucker cheats on you. But the second you turn around, don't make it, Ky she makes the whole damn thing, Kybella. But that should definitely not be number one. His, his caveat, but I said I would never leave you and I love you. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you can do with your apology. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, you make a great point. Not the gum drop buttons. Thank you for the super chat and the super point. Remember when she said calling him Harry was Islamophobic? I do. I remember some dumbasses in this community also, also tried to spin that Islamophobic for calling him Harry. I'm Greek. Mm? I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> I come from a hairy race. It's Islamophobic for a hairy person to point out that someone else is hairy. That is stupid as fuck. Okay. Very, very dumb. Very dumb. But yes, with Chantal's argument, it's Islamophobic to call someone hairy. So she's Islamophobic, clearly. Shove it up your hairy ass. I, for me, I know I cheated in the past. And trust me, I learned my lesson. I felt like such a fucking piece of shit. Like, I hope you feel like now. Oh, I'm down. I'm not just, I am. Thank you for the super chat. I never cheated since. I would never do it. Because you know what? The worst thing is you feel like you don't know the person that you were with for so long. Like, how they could consciously do something like that and not, it wouldn't tear them up inside. You're more worried about your reputation of you and your family. Fuck that. I don't give a shit. Why would I give a shit? I'll get over you. Don't worry about it. Like you ruined our family. You ruined our family for... I'm wheezing. You ruined our family. Pet family photo. Her, the incel, the cat trying to get away from her, and the hamster, like Harry number 19, who's now like a totally different color and also trying to like bite free from her hand. Yeah. The, the, you ruined this totally legitimate and not a uh, marriage of convenience family. What? Oh, it wasn't any video. It was just a... Uh... Uh, well, I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even want to know your deviant shit. I hope fucking Allah curses you. Oh. I hate men because you know what? Yeah, there's good men and I, I hate to generalize and be sexist. But track record shows. I mean. No, no. He is Syrian. I am Greek. And they tried to imply that me, a Greek, a notoriously hairy like group of people, I'm Islamophobic for having pointed out that he is hairy. No, <laughs> there's nothing Islamophobic about it. Some cultures are just hairy like that. I happen to come from one. I mean, I cheated, I know, but the point was there's nothing Islamophobic about it. I'm just done. I'm done. Like, I don't want that stress. Like, that's one thing when you're in a relationship, you always have to worry about. Is my partner being a fucking loser? Yes, they most often are. <laughs> Egypt cheesy motherfucker. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I'd rather be alone. But I said, I said to him at the beginning of our relationship, I said, if you just don't cheat, if you fall out of love or whatever you're fucked. Fall out of love. Y'all have known each other for one year. <laughs> she acts like they've been together for 20 years and have like 16 kids. If you fall out of love, it's been a year. Oh my God. There's no falling out of love. He hasn't fallen in love. That's the problem. You fucking desperado. Open your damn, like, Betis inflicted eyes. I don't know. The Betis affects your vision. Maybe that's what it is. She can't see shit about what's going on because of those Betis eyes. Go and get the eyes checked and get a fucking sense. God damn. I gave my kids away for you. <laughs> Stupid. 
Sad cowboy frog. Thank you again for the super chat. Uh, inshallah. Okay, the issue is be honest and just leave me. No, I would never leave you. I love you. No, you don't. You don't love me. You don't. And that's exactly, obvious now. MB. Thank you for the super chat. Right about you. That's the other worst part. Fuck this. You see, that's what she's really mad at. Hold on. The other worst part is that people were right about you. And look how pissed she looks. Like defeated. Don't. And that's obvious now for sure. Like people were right about you. That's the other worst part. Fuck this, man. What a fool. What a fool. To me, that really does confirm that a whole part of this whole marriage bullshit was like to spite the community. You know what I mean? They were right about you. Like, how could you do this to me? I'm a fucking idiot. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Oh. No. Cheated with a bees? Can you fucking imagine? Like, I don't think my life, like, oh no, it could get worse. I can't jinx it because it's on a roll. What kind of trashy, attention seeking whore are you, K Bella? You are fucking ugly on top of that. So fuck you. Like, you ruined her. Yeah, she's so fucking ugly that your husband wanted her. And fat shamed you to her and wanted her to go to Kuwait and asked her how much money she made to replace you. She's just hideous. <clears throat> and after this all happened, you were trying to make yourself kind of look like her in photos because she's so hideous. And your husband was clearly not attracted to her. Mm -hmm. What would Tide? Thank you for the super chat. Did she ever sell the cat pic? I have no idea. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't think, was it ever even mentioned again? I don't know. Didi, not Didi. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah, this I think this is my favorite one, too. Family for her? You're a piece of shit, and I fucking hate you, and you deserve every bit of this rage up your fucking ass. Sorry, I can't read this. <laughs> oh, my God. Nemi, you're right. I did forget. Bloop. Just for validation. Oh, foodie beauty's like, yeah, and my husband, my husband fucking fell for it. I'm pawning my, uh, you know what? I'm fucking auctioning my fucking wedding ring. So bad. Auctioning? Girl, stop it. Go and take it to a pawn shop. Let you give them, they'll give you the $5 that it's worth and call it a day. Auctioning the estate sale for my engagement ring. Shut up. I'm so mad. Can't stop watching the train wreck. Thank you for the super chat. I hate you. I literally fucking hate. I hate you. I don't know you. How can I hate you? I don't even fucking know you. You're a lie. You're a cheater. Oh my God. I hate. I fucking hate cheaters. I hated myself when I cheated. And I hate you now. And I'm over. I'm done. It's never, never. I can never be with a cheater. That's the end for me. Like, everyone has their straw. Some people can forgive cheating. And by the grace of God, BB forgave me when I cheated on him. But it was never the same. It was never the same. And I still have guilt about that. Oh, my God. I totally forgot. I have a ball, not a volleyball. Thank you for the super chat and reminding me, y'all, please be careful during the St. Patrick's celebrations and please be kind to all your bartenders. It's a rough weekend for us. Well, thank you for even saying that as a message. I totally forgot it was this weekend. Fuck. <laughs> y'all, if you are going to participate in the festivities of the St. Patrick's Day, aka get shit-faced, all right? Be careful. Don't get too shit-faced. Keep your wits about you, shit face. Do you know what I mean? You get daytime sloshy, not like shit your pants wrecked, you know? And yes, be kind and patient to the bartenders. It's a rough weekend for them. Do you know what the fucked up thing is? Is I loved him. 
I was so in love with him and I died when he threatened to break up with me when I cheated on him. And I hope you're going through that now. Moon Bunny, great advice. Watch your drink, ladies. Thank you for putting that in the chat. So, like, yeah. I can't deal with relationships. I don't know why I get into them back to back like that after I haven't even healed from the previous one. There was no previous relationship. It wasn't a relationship. You had a crackhead who wouldn't claim you. That's number one. Number two, this is why you don't go off and marry someone you've been talking to for two weeks. Huh? You get to know someone first. <laughs> then maybe you marry them on the other side of the world, you fucking lunatic. Don't ever be so desperate that you do any of the stuff that Chantal ever does. What the fuck? Sitting in your car, sobbing about it as if this was like a normal relationship. Jesus Christ. Like, I can't deal with these emotions, like, and being let down. And I'm like, I'm just not, I can't mentally deal with that. Thanks, guys. I know, Black Zillion. I know this is the internet. And I know people are going to be eating it up. But that's, you know what? I don't care. I don't want, you know what? I don't want to talk to, like, people in real... Like, I talked to my mom. I just broke down in front of her when he wrote that. I'm just like, Patricia, happy name day to you. Like, babe, I hate myself. I have something to tell you. I was like, what? You can't be cheating. It's just going to be like, you know how sometimes you joke with your partner, like, I have something serious to tell you. You're going to hate me. And then you say, I love you. No, it was something bad. <laughs> I'm respectful of our privacy until you fuck me over and ruin my life. Then you can go fuck yourself. You're, that's on you. He sent her a text when the whole thing was about to blow up. When Kybella blocked him, he had said some, wasn't that he had said he loved Kybella and Kybella blocked him and he started panicking and he sent her the message that, uh, uh, like I've been talking to someone. It's nothing at all. There's no video. There's no nothing. I love you. I'm so sorry. And then Kybella dropped the bomb on the internet. Anyway, I'm not talking about our private life. I'm just saying what happened this part. Yes, I am because you deserve this. Yeah. And this is not private life. It was all over Twitter and shit. You can't really call that private life at that point. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Good luck. Damn. Next thing, he'll be on hater channels telling them all about our life. Watch. That would have been so funny. You're not like anyone else. Same. I never feel bad for her. I have freedom of speech now in Canada. Yeah, I can say the F word all I want. Thank you, dear phone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I never really understood that whole argument of like, there's no video. There was absolutely nudes. And there was those freaky, remember the voice messages? The, you would be my slave. I'm going to shit on you. And so, oh my God, the, that creepy fucking voice. We haven't played those in a while, come to think of it. Tomorrow, we'll play them all again, the voice notes specifically. Creep motherfucker. 
he was caught cheating online, he's probably caught cheating. I don't know. I don't, but that's the thing. Like, you can't be with someone after that. Like, it can't be the same. How the fuck do you, you don't, I don't even know him. That's not the person I married. Like, or maybe it was and he just hit it. Like, I can't deal with Hit it for what? Two weeks? You don't know the person you married. Jesus fucking Christ. Again, this is why you don't marry a stranger. Soulless, thank you again for the super chat. Same. Yeah, so thankful for no self-control. With this shit, I just want to be alone and be in peace and live out the rest of my miserable life alone and bitter. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore about anything about that stuff. Yes, exactly. The picture with the dodgy shave job. <laughs> How do you get to that big, big age and you still can't shave your, like, your junk properly? I... It's giving the vibe that you've never had to do that before. You are brand new to manscaping that stuff. It was like a hair Oreo. Hair, then shave, then hair again. Like, why would you leave the hair again? Anyway, you know what? I'm not doing this again. <laughs> but Anyway. It's over. Better off without him. He said disgusting and depraved things. He doesn't respect women. What do you mean? You guys saw the conversation? No, I didn't let him poop and pee on me. What the fuck? <laughs> seen the combos. I don't want to look at them. Why would I want to look at that? He admitted it, so I believe him. So, thanks for those of you who are here being nice, but he asked her to fly to Kuwait before you got back. Are you fucking serious? Oh, nice. Yeah, whatever. You just no, it's the funniest thing. Like, I'm like wheeze laughing at that part. <laughs> because what if, okay, I'm not trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. This is a cheating ass motherfucker. But maybe he did want to take shits on Chantal. Who knows? Let's devil's advocate this poop situation, okay? What if there was a time that he did want to take a dump on her and he tries to bring it up in a way that's not like, I'm going to shit on you. It was like, I don't know, some question that was going to eventually lead to, I'm going to take a shit on you. But, and he's like testing the water. So he puts his toe in the water by like, I don't know, some question that's pretty far away, but also to do with poop. Like, oh, he's like, I know, I know, no, not poop. It was about pee. And he's like, oh. Um, did you hear that uh, Diddy likes to piss on Young Miami? How do you feel about that? And he like she looks at it, he looks at her and she's like, "Ew, piss? No, ew." <laughs> like she just said. <laughs> ah, do you let him shit and piss on you? Yeah, no, no. Uh, you like, and he like okay mentally registers her answer and he's like okay. She is not down to get shit on. And that's why he knew to never bring it up again. And he brought it to Kybella. It was like his dirty, dirty secret. Disgust me. You're a disgusting human. You're not a Muslim. You're a fucking fake. Ramadan. Fake ass fuck. You deserve everything. Oh, well, wasn't meant to be, I guess. Applebee's. <laughs> oh, my God, Applebee's. Make me laugh, please. He did say that? That's disgusting. You're a fucking idiot. 
Oh my god, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's so over. Well, I learned my lesson last time with Natterd. Don't cry over a piece of shit for too long. Let's bees. She just called a Muslim out of their name. As she would call it, an Islamic name, even though it's not, and neither is Salad. So, with her own logic, calling him Natterd, you're an Islamophobe. <laughs> He's boring and dull. Thanks, Black Cillian. Sorry, guys. I know a lot of you liked him, and it's disappointing. You insult me in front of people. Yeah, I am insulting you in front of people. You don't think you deserve that after what you did? Like, this is the thing. People get outed for their disgusting behavior, and then they fucking cry about it. <laughs> like, what? What? Thanks, golden girl. I don't want any more husbands ever. I don't trust another human. But... So. You don't even care that I'm hurt. You just care about your fucking reputation. One that you ruined. You ruined, just like Natterd, blaming me for ruining. He wasn't completely honest with you. He talked to her for a long time. And invited her to stay. Really? You fucking piece of shit. You're not a man. You're a mesquite. You're a boy. You're a boy. You know why? Because boys treat women that way. Not men. If there's any fucking men in this world. You don't give a shit about me. You fucking liar. I hate you so bad. Go with her. See how long your fucking life lasts. <laughs> She can't even afford a fucking membership sometimes. And she's a piece of trash. Oh! Number one, you're financial shaming the beezers in your audience. She can't even afford a membership sometimes. Number two, what does that matter, Chantal? Unless the woman in his life is the one bankrolling it. And you're implying that if she were to become the woman in his life, she couldn't afford to bankroll it in the way that you have been bankrolling it. Well done, ma'am. Well done. Graceful Dove, thank you for the super chat. Arf, arf, indeed. Sorry. I'm never, I'm never, never, never. Fuck this shit. I'm going to Cuba. Fucking fuck you. <laughs> Why is Cuba? Why, why her brain defaults to Cuba? Last time with Koki and Didi, pew Cuba. Now you're. Why are you going to Cuba? What the shit is that? And I'm farting on camera again. I don't give a shit what you say. That's he came clean because he was exposed. There's screenshots, pics, and voice messages. He wanted to rape, pee, and poo on women. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't know him. <sighs> like, I don't. Oh my god. Like, you just start thinking about everything you did with this person and they're living a whole other kind of... Ugh. I still, to this day, do not think she fucked for that laptop in Cuba. I think she got drugs for the laptop in Cuba. Like, I would be married... I would spend the rest of my life with this person who... You know in the movies, like, the husband and wife is, like... They have this, like, picture-perfect relationship. And then, like, the hu the husband has some weird, or the wife has some weird fucking. Oh, honey, you, nev you never had a picture-perfect looking relationship. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, my God. Dark, disgusting fetish? <laughs> it's over anyway. That's a part of him that he... 
like it might not might be just who he is and i i can't fulfill that and i'm so not into that shit anymore i'm 39 i'm fucking diabetic and i'm not into fucking weird fetishes anymore that's disgusting well there you go k bella that's what you deserve to be his fucking toilet that's so flattering so yeah so what does it mean if he didn't even want to use you as a toilet? Is that more flattering? Less flattering? Explain, please. I don't understand how that like hierarchy works. Please, please explain it to the peasants. So Liz, thank you for the super chat. She was going to go and get her laptop back. Okay, that makes sense. She could use the money. Yeah, you have a fetish to, by degrading women then. That's why you, that's disgusting. I hate that shit. You can go to hell. I'm not moving on. So all this time, you fucking were talking to this person and invited them there. Where? Where were? Like what? You're an idiot. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is how manipulative they are. And this is how. Like I feel crazy. Like what? Like the when? Ah, oh, my God. There's always time. There's always time. Exactly. You're in Canada right now. She would have like a little pop -in visit, a little pop in. And then if things had worked out the way he wanted to, you would have never gone back. Do you understand? You would have been replaced. <laughs> but you're the only one dumb enough to actually want to like live there and stuff. Kai Bella was just fucking with you. <laughs> There's something extra beautiful to the fact that he didn't just like cheat on Chantal. He was played by somebody who didn't want to do anything more than prove that, I don't know, he's a cheater and she's a fucking desperado idiot. There's something extra beautiful about that. I don't know. I You know, I appreciate a good troll. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Save his hairy butt boy. Wait, hairy boy butt from her pious finger. <laughs> There's always, you're such a liar. You deserve everything. I hope you get shamed for eternity. Fuck you. Your wish is my command, bitch. Only one time my ass. My ass. There's screenshots of you being talking about them for a long time. I hope it was worth it. It was Kay Bella, yeah. Yeah. She's a desperate whore. Anyway. I'll tell you who's a desperate whore. A desperate whore is the one who runs off to the other side of the world to marry a stranger that they've only been talking to for two days, weeks. Whatever. That's a desperate short mood. Burn in the house. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Marty and Kybella need to join forces. They could be unstoppable. <laughs> I need a cigarette. Exactly. Just that okay. simple, right, Pixie? Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Lulu. The only reason you admitted to it, you lying sack of shit, is because you were exposed. Oh, my God. Exactly. It's not like he fessed up because he was having some kind of, like, conscious thing. No, 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 He knew it was coming out. And then, I don't know, he tried to minimize the damage of being a scat man? <laughs> Fucking idiot. What's the plan now? Yeah, my cat's there. <laughs> Oh, not the cats. Marty tried to get her on stream, but she flaked. Ah, oh, that's a shame. She was probably freaked out. I don't know. I have to stay here. I'm not going back there ever. 
unless you have any friends that that want to, unless you have any real man friends, Salah, that you want me to marry, then how about that? Maybe I'll go back if you have like a real man. I remember when she said that the first time and I thought it was so fucking weird because it really showed she doesn't give a shit who she's with. You know what I mean? It's never been about him. It's not some grand love or anything. It's about the ring and it's about being able to say my husband. So, okay, well, if it can't be you, you know anyone I can replace you with? It's not about him. It's just about dunking on the haters and trying to prove some fucking point. <sighs> Sending all my love and support. Thank you. I barely knew him. You're right. I did. You're right. I did it. Because I didn't know he was into all this shit. Yeah, you're welcome for insulting you in front of people. You deserve it. Thank you for humiliating me in front of people with all of your sex, weird sex shit. Thank you. A friend. Yes, Chantal, he humiliated the shit out of you with his, quote, weird sex shit. Stay humiliated because you still should be fucking humiliated. The fact that you come out smug after this is so weird to me. You should be mortified by this until the end of time. And just message me that they saw the screenshots and you said some vile things. I hope it was worth it, Kay Bella. What are you looking for? Two minutes of clout? You think people are just going to, like, make you internet famous off of this? You're a fucking delusional moron whore. Go get a life. <sighs> yeah, really. I don't believe it's the first time either. I'm not stupid. I don't care if it was only once anyway. If it's once or a thousand, it might as well be the same for me. I really don't care. I feel the same if you tell me a thousand right now. Because I don't know him. So, the like, it, I don't know him. I never saw this side of him, ever. Like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> you know? You saw them, Golden Girl? Holy shit. Exactly. She still she refuses to accept the troll. It has to be that everybody wants her husband because he's the handsomest man and yada yada yada. She she can't accept what really happened there, you know. It's a law, where's your brain? Up his fucking hairy ass. Islamophobe. Like, rape stuff? Like, I, I don't even know this guy. And to do it with someone on the internet? Like, are you fucking retarded? I, I even said to him at one point, I was like, well, I don't have to worry about you cheating on me with anyone, like, talking to any girls, because... You wouldn't be that dumb. <laughs> oh, I unmodded him. Kayla, was Unicity a scam? No, it's not a scam, actually. actually. like, Imagine, in the middle of all of this, you take the time to address your MLM scan. Oh, my God. Like, wh why would your brain even go there? Ignore that person's question. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's... No, it's not a scam. <laughs> I wouldn't scam people. She's insane. Was this Kate Bella is real or not? Ah, uh, I know. The Black Zillion. They totally agree. Yeah, Greek girl. Totally, totally agree. She has no cloud to give. And I truly believe if Kai Bella had really done any of this for any kind of like cloud or coins or whatever the fuck, she would have made a channel. She would have made a channel. She would have teased a little bit. And as soon as she was monetized, dropped the whole bomb. Everybody understands that. It was not done in a way that it had anything to do with clout. It was done in a way to dunk on Chantal's ass. And she fucking did it. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. I think they're hurting me, but in the long run, I always move on. And they're the ones left in the dust. 
Look at messy poo. How far did your clout get you? Anyway, um, not trying to defend pissy poo by any means. I'm just saying pissy poo only left her chat when the, the whole BBJ thing came out. She wasn't down for animal abuse. She came here, left a super chat, lied to Chantal about it. And that's, it was apparently clout to not be okay with animal abuse. Whatever, I'm done. I'll get over it. Fuck. Like, yeah, whatever. You're just another big gulp. No, seriously. I mean, what, like, I'm not going to ruin my fucking life. I'll just, I don't know. I have to stay here. No, he didn't, Flo. No fucking way, Tishati. I don't believe Kybella is the only Kybella. I just think Kybella is the only one who knows the connection to the internet. And so, like, the only one who's, like, come forward like this. <laughs> it's not in my name, and uh, the car's not in my name. So it's not, he didn't get a car. He has to pay for it. You've been through worse. You know what you need to do. Thanks, Ghostface. He said he loved her. Oh, nice. You're such a piece of shit. Honestly, you're such a piece of shit. You know what? Learn from this. When people tell you are very insistent right from the get-go, they're not cheaters because Naturd was like that too. I'm not cheater me. I'm not cheater me. Yo, you are cheater, you. You fucking Nosferatu. tooth. It, it, she makes a good point. Um, people who don't cheat don't constantly have to tell you how they don't cheat. From like, you're meeting a stranger and they're like constantly tell you they don't cheat. Yeah, read between the lines there. Come on. Frenchie, recap the gonad trial. Linda, go back to the beginning. I explained it there. And don't ever talk about me again either because I can rake you through the fucking coals. Trust me. Oh. You are a piece of shit and you know it. Oh. And now you are too. I'll add you to my piece of shit man list. You know who wasn't a piece of shit? BB. Never cheated on me. He was so loyal. Welcome everybody. Yeah, now it is all over. He's messaging me. I told you not to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you ever again. I can't forgive this ever. Seven hours later, it was forgiven. Thanks, guys. Pete's. Yeah, Pete's never. Never cheated. He's like literally the only person I know with values and that he sticks to. Pete's or BB? She did not just mention Pete's. I know she didn't say Pete's has values. The other animal abuser who writes weird grape cartoon fantasy stuff. And I like hung out with him and I would have to keep my friendship with him secret. Oh yeah, I was talking to Pete's this whole time and I hung out with him yesterday. So fuck you. Charmuta. I'm not going to get rid of my friend for you. And I saw him when I got here. But I didn't do anything sexual. Oh, I love this new thing with you, you kids. You kids and your riz. I love that. Riz for charisma. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever heard? Pete's wouldn't have the riz to cheat on her. I completely agree. And I'm stealing that riz thing. I don't care if I'm 40. That thing, the riz. Are you going to riz her up? That is so fucking cute. He's not modding the chat. He's not a mod. So 
So now you're free. I know, Mike. I want my cat. Does anyone want to pay for her to come here? It's like 5,000 bucks. Anyway. Um, because now I have to get my own place. For sure. We won't be helping each other financially anymore. So I'm on my own. Go give him a great big hug and go apartment shopping. <laughs> yeah, if Pete's and I split, that's the thing. Like one, one bedroom is like fourteen hundred, some places. But you can get like a two bedroom for fourteen hundred. That would be seven hundred each. But we enable each other's bad habits. Look at that! She's already moving back in with Pete's. Wow. <laughs> God damn it! Sliding doors that she had actually fucking stuck to this. But he's the only person I trust with my fucking wife. That's sad. And I was like a shitty friend to him. Because I had to keep him secret. And even that he understood. He's like, that well, he's always that's his that's his reaction, everything. Eh. I mean, you don't want to disrespect your husband. I get it. <laughs> I'll ask you. You're... That's right, that's right. Pete's neglected the cat to death and is filthy. And also he wrote that weird. Him too with the great fantasy. It was like like um one of those anime cartoons, and it it went with a little story, and it was the story was a grape fantasy. He's a fucking psycho too. Piggy uploaded all the messages. No, <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to see that. <laughs> No, 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 no. She's not crying because she doesn't want to see that. Listen to how that just happened. Piggy uploaded all of the messages. Oh, no. I don't want to see that. She didn't want all of us to see that. She didn't want everybody to see that. It wasn't about her seeing that. She would have stuck her head in the sand and pretended like she didn't see that. But we were all going to see that. And that's why she's crying right now. She's fucking mortified. I love that. Tanner, thank you for the super chat. What's up with Salad's poop habit? <laughs> God, he's a fucking weirdo. Uh, oh, I was going to auction this off. Someone painted this. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you. <laughs> to move. Yeah, someone painted it. Sam, I gave my cats away for you. <laughs> it's the tone that she uses to whine that sentence. I want to hear it one more time. Oh my god, it's a it's like a demon's voice comes out of her. I gave my cats away for you. <laughs> put it in the intro. I can put that in the intro. That's gold. That's intro worthy. I was going to auction this off. Someone painted this. No, I don't even have them anymore. I gave my cats away for you. To move. Yeah. Someone painted it. Sam looks more real than BBJ. <laughs> she was gonna auction it auction it for what an animal charity since you're an animal abusing sack of shit no auctioning it for her own pocket because she's broke uh-huh we know no problem uh diving with blasted berry hey girl welcome to the girl gang <laughs> thanks for being here polar pinup thank you for the super chat beyond gratifying i agree pete says major yeah he's a really good person I know he's a little bit odd, but he'll tell you that he is. I am too. Yeah, I'm getting a divorce. Yeah, it's like hard emphasis on the you. I gave my cats away for you. <laughs> Where did that devil voice come from? 
He complained that all of his money went to pay for your ticket. What? Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. You don't. You married a fucking stranger. What do you expect? Think about it. Hold on. Lime Jello, pizza and salad, grape fantasies. Uh, Koki, literally on trial for grape. Where does she find the losers that she has in her entourage? I'll never understand. He is a true friend. Go to Pete's if you need to talk. Thanks. Yeah, you're right. He is. I'm trying to do a GoFundMe. I can't do that. For Julia. Julia. I'll just try to save money once I get situated because I can't have a cat now. I don't have a place yet. Actually, she just like snorted the snot in her nose, you know, <laughs> like a kid, then wiped it on her hand. And now she's wiping her hand on her pants like a toddler. Toddlers are taught not to do that. She does that. They probably could. Drive to Pete's. He made you leave Pete's while you get to cheat. He gets to cheat. He's obviously been cheating. Hope this doesn't happen out of the blue. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk about him. Like, because he was good to me. I mean, obviously not in secret, but. Well, yeah. And I don't want to talk about our relationship. But I'm definitely outing. I mean, how are you going to say, oh, you're outing me? What the fuck? Like, somebody did a video with all the screenshots. You want me to lie? I'm not lying. No, that was always a problem with, with Natur, too. He always wanted me to lie to cover his ass. And I fucking hated anything. I, I Anytime I had to do it. But when it came to abuse, no, I'm not lying about that. Okay, okay. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Satisfying, like after the risotto. <laughs> I love that. Holy shit. And yes, totally agree with you. Oh, man. Uh, KBS, I totally agree with this. She is quite noticeably bigger now, and I don't even know how that's possible. It's like literally two months later. How? Were the filters working harder here or something? I don't know. But yes, I find she does look visibly bigger now she has the voices uh yeah i'm sure oh god the, the only reason he came clean is because he's exposed thanks jenna you know you don't love me you'd never loved me if you do that like what unless you're one of those deviants who can't control these weird fantasy urges I don't care nope I know me I know this will be huge for him but even if I didn't come now and say this People already knew. That's why he's coming clean, me. That's the reason. Because he was outed by this person. Can you imagine how funny it would have been in hindsight? Imagine, okay? 
All of the messages are out. The entire community is buzzing with this fucking shit gate thing and everything. And neither her nor him ever acknowledged it. That would have been the funniest thing of all time. I don't know how she would have ever bit her tongue and not acknowledge it. But can you imagine if she just never said a word? Thank you.